Okay. Kev, where have you took me? We're in the middle of a field. There's nobody about. No, well, this is it. Lovely and quiet on the site. The kids are back at school. The only thing we've got to make any noise is the alpacas over there. Oh, the alpacas over there? Yeah. 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 Um, you don't want to go on the playground before you start these. I've already been on, Kev. <laughs> what, um, what are we doing? Uh, we've got a nice A-class to have a look at. Where? It's uh, there. You can't miss it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a lovely air class. Isn't it? You could have actually the only part. The, you haven't found the flattest part, have you? The only part that's actually un, is it undulated. <laughs> it is undulated, isn't it? Sloping, sloping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't bring any leveling ramps. Right, come on, let's go and have a look at it. So we've got a burst now. Um, Aviano, is that how you say it? Aviano? Oh, I say it's Aviano. Yeah, yeah 670, four berth, four belted seats. This is a 2007. Do you know something? Just put the A-class. Right, does that look a 2007? No. It doesn't, does it? A-classes don't age. They don't, do they? They don't, no. That's why, put a private plate on them, your neighbours haven't got a bloody clue what year it is. Exactly. <laughs> they just don't age at all, do they? No. Not no. at all. Um, this is a 2007, like I said, um, it's a 2.3, uh, obviously it's a diesel, um, the length is 6.65 metres in length, uh, obviously it's the A-class, we'll have a look at it, we'll, we'll set, shall we set it up as well? Yeah, we'll set it up. We'll, we'll do a bit of wild camping? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do a little bit of wild camping. Um, fresh water capacity, 120 litres there, Kev. Yeah. Um, waste capacity, 90 litres. Um, let's go and have a look at it. Shall we start from here? Yeah. I'll put my little... Um... Where the place is any to start. No door. No door. No door. Diesel. You'll never fit through that window, Jase. <laughs> and then you never fit through that window. <laughs> so what we've got underneath here, we've got two leisure batteries, as you can see there, and one spider. Yeah. That comes free. That's Boris. Fresh water. So that's where we fill the fresh water. We've got the vents for the fridge, so we know it's going to be a what? Big fridge freezer. Well done, Kevin. Are you watching the video? You're leaning. Mm -hmm. um, hook up. Yeah. We're not going to be using the uh, 230 cup today because we're wild camping on the most sloping part Kev can find, really. Oh, just down here below, we do have our waste um, drain off, obviously, for emptying the waste tank. So, again, that's everything that goes down a plug hole. What have we got under here? We've got, Ooh, we've got a bit of storage underneath here, haven't we? And a jack and wheel brace. Pipe for the waste. Pipe for the waste there. And then we're finishing off with cassette toilet. Ooh, so we know the uh, showrooms at the back. Moving to the back, we've got a bike rack, we've got a tow bar, Kevin. We've also got reversing camera and a ladder for getting on to the roof. And then move away round. This will probably give us a better hit. There we go. And there we go at the back. Um, we're assuming then we have fixed bed. Fixed bed. Yeah. And then if we just pop in and have a look, what we do have, we have a drain off there for emptying any water out the pipes. And there is, can you see that? There is our uh, drain off for the water heater. Now, if that does, um, I'll just show you that actually. If that drops below five degrees, that dumps the water out. I'll lift that back up. Um, so it has got a little fail safe on that there. Got another locker here, Jason. Oh, okay. There's lockers everywhere on this one. There's only classes, though, isn't there? Ah. And then there's, there's the other part, the ladder. Yeah. That's for getting up, Ruth. So this one obviously corresponds with the one round the other side. Uh, flu for the heating system. Gas. Good size gas bottle there. 13 kg. 13 k. It's at two 13s, is it? And this one comes with a cab. With a cab. Spanner. <laughs> <laughs> And then moving up, we've got even more storage here. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Probably for that, it's probably best for your shoes and wellies and things yeah, like yeah. that. What you say. Now, we do get asked about not putting the awning out, and we've got the awning out. Yeah. So, Some, we'll, somebody did let's put, move back over here and have a good look at the side of this van. Somebody did put in the comments that we never put the awning out. So well, the awning's out, Kevin. So, whoever did it, there's your awning. And you put it slanted as well. Yeah. Why do you do that, Jeff? Because you couldn't reach to put it all the way up. Well, it's in case it rains, so the rain runs off. Oh, okay. And obviously, if it becomes very windy, wind it in. It's a sunshade rather than an awning, but you can get tie down strips for straps. straps. Yeah, you can also as well. If, you can peg them down. Peg them down again, if you yeah. see there with the holes in them. 
So there's the awning. Um, shall we set this fan up and have a look inside? Mm. Come on, man. Um, so, quick show people around, actually. Actually, let's just move on to the control panel. So there's the 12 volts going on. Um, we've got the various uh, leisure battery, vehicle battery. Um, then also then we've got the work of the water, so we'll put the, the um, I forgot what it's called, Kev. Put the water pump on. And um, let's get some lights on, shall we? Have we got lights on? We've got plenty of lights. Go. So we've got the fixed bed at the back. Which is known as the French bed. And then we have storage going around, so there's plenty of storage. Good lockers they are, Kev. Good lockers. There. There is an area there for putting the TV. TV bracket. And there we go, we've got a TV aerial on there, we've got a 230 power point as well. And then we'll move on, if you can just see in the bathroom, that's a good sized bathroom that is at the back. Yeah, nice size wet room, you've got a wash basin. Yeah, wash basin, and then you've got the toilet at the ben back, and what they call a bench toilet. Well, it looks like a bench, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, again, we've got the mirrors. And then moving back, wardrobe. Good size wardrobe. TV aerial and the booster as well. That's a good size wardrobe, yeah. that is, you're right there. And then we've got the 230 consumer unit as well. Again, we're not going to use that. Um, full size fridge, freezer. Um, let's bring some gas through. Is that an oven, gr is that an oven grill above it? I bet we haven't got a lighter, have we? No. That looks well. You do it as well. Right, okay, so three-way fridge, we've got the gas, electric, leisure battery for me driving along. It says on automatic one, Let's see what happens. Is the gas on? I've just put it on, can't I? Uh, I don't know. There you, you go, did you, you look, eat? You look like a safe cracker then. You know when they listen, when they do the... <laughs> a safe cracker? Yeah, you know when they, when they work in the combination and they stick the air to the safe? Just a thought. Right, water, we put the pump on, so there we go, bringing the water through. We'd already primed this up. Um, can we see beneath there, Kevin? There we go, let's get that out. So there's there's the water heater, and that's the drain offs that I showed you earlier on. So don't forget, we'll be priming up, probably allow two minutes for priming up. So we put the fresh water in the fresh water tank, we'd put the pump on, and then it'll prime up obviously it's got to fill up uh, the water depending on whether it's a 10 litre or a 15 litre Kevin did. Um, you forgot to bring the lighter so we can't light them. Uh, heating, heating, here we go. So with this one we do have electric hot water, obviously that's not going to be used and then we do have a traumatic system here which is only gas only. So the top two are summer settings and the bottom two are winter setting. So the top two is, is basically water only because you wouldn't be using the heating in the summer. And the bottom two is um, heating and then heating and hot water. So if we want to put the water on, see the little green light there. And then it should, um, click. should click on. That's a nice and simple way of um, putting the hot water on there, Kev. Yeah. One way of telling if your heating is on it's come outside to your flow, so you've got your flow here. And I don't know, just be quiet, see if it's... Can you just hear that? Um, that's that's obviously, um, it's kicked in, the flame's lit, so now it's lighting up um, the hot water. So if you can imagine, the heating system, the hot water system is a bit like a kettle. If you're using it on electric, you plug it in. If you're using it on the gas, just imagine if you were putting it on a hob and uh, the gas is warming it up that way. So that was nice and quiet that was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Didn't, didn't even hear the solar panel kick Yeah, because we were worried before, has that, has that really kicked in? And like I say, the easiest way, just come outside and check. You will also get another thing. Sometimes they will fall out, especially if you've not used them before. Uh, and you will get a little red light coming on there. So don't just switch it off and switch it back on again. Switch it off, leave it. 10 seconds, just let it reset, and then switch it back on again. So, this is quite an easy van to set up here, Kevin. This is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we've got the fixed bed, we've got the skylight, fly, fly screens, blinds, and then we've got a little bit partition -y thing there yep. for the bed as mm -hmm. well. And then we'll move to the front, and then what we have, do these seats swivel, Kev? Oh yeah. What do you mean, oh yeah? 
They all do in A-classes because that's your nice big lounge area with your big panoramic window. Do you like that bit? Panoramic. Panoramic? Where have you pulled that one from? I can't get it to swivel round. You have a go at that because you've got an A-class, so I believe. That's the one thing about the A classes, though, Kevin's, is it's that cab. Yeah. Stunning cab, and especially when you're driving as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful to drive. <laughs> Not easy to swivel seats, but they're beautiful to drive. Come on, oh. Jason, help me out. Right, I'll just put the camera in and show you how to do the swivel seats. Ready? Right, have you finally sussed it then? I've sussed it, yeah. So a little lever down there. Spin it round. Spin it round. I'll tell you what, it's warm today, isn't it? <sighs> Sweaty man. There we go. Uh, What's with the forward. braces and um, shorts today? Well, what, what inspirations are you? You look like Rock on Tommy. I am, uh, Rock on Tommy. <laughs> Just swivel the other one around. Stop, <laughs> Stop the shorts falling down. <laughs> I've already unlocked that one, so it's been there. What you may have to do is adjust the backwards and forwards the seats. But, uh, and now we've got a nice lounge area. Um, just quickly, I'm just going to quickly do the cab. So we've got the reversing camera, um, it's on a feed, the Cato, and then no aircon on this, Kev. No aircon. It's um, six speed manual, you've got CD radio, and then you've just got the blown air system on there as well. Loads of storage in the front as well. Good dinette area, really good sized dinette area. Um, shall we show people what the A classes are all about, Kev? Yeah. So I'm going to drop this seat down like so. Drop that one down. Now there's a proper bedroom. That's a good size there. Um, so with the A classes, you're getting that great drop down bed. Don't forget, you've also got the uh, fixed bed at the back as well. well. It, still, it still gives you a low profile. <clears throat> you haven't yeah. got the bubble at the front like you do on the. Uh, no, that's, on that's a good side. Obviously, you've got the ladder there. And then we do have lights. Oh, there we go. LED lights, they are. Yeah. Uh, I'll drop that back up. And then always remember just to pull that in. Stops the dropping down in your head when he's driving. Put these back. So the drop down bed, dead easy. You can actually have that made up as well, couldn't yeah. you really? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're looking at the dinette area. Um, good storage there. We've got the, here we go. We've got the blinds. Oops. Push it on back in. Same again. And then we do have the blinds on the windscreen as well. I like that um, light. I really do like that light. It's quite unique to Burstons, I think. <clears throat> Same a lot in Burstons. No, really nice. And um, a big skylight here as well. Blind, fly screen. And then we've also got we've got, we've got lights everywhere, haven't we? Lights everywhere. Lots of drawers as well. Lots of storage. Yeah, so oh, that's, that's a nice little prep area there. Yeah. That's prep. Cutlery. And then we've got another one here underneath the sink, Kev. If you just um, have a look at that. Yep, good storage, plenty of storage. <coughs> and you've got, uh, you've got an oven and grill in there. Well, I didn't mention that, did I? No, you didn't, no. And above the fridge, we do have the oven and grill. Um, there's your grill, and I'll move around. And there's the oven. This is probably one of the easiest vans to check to set up. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. obviously if we're on a hook up, then we'll be putting the hook up in. But how easy was this van to set yeah. up? It was basically just to come in, switch it on, switch the pump on, and we're done. It's not complicated, is it? Not complicated at all. And then like I said, we've got the heating and hot water um, there as well. But how easy? Yeah. Really, really easy. <clears throat> I'll tell you what we have got as well. Just noticed underneath the table. We have got a fan there for when we're driving along to keep the van uh, warm. That, that's a heater that works off the engine. Yeah. yeah. So what that does is um, we can put that on when we're driving along and it basically heats, uh, sends some blown air around to the back of the van as well. So that's another good touch as well. But um, I think we better do some stats, Kev, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. 
Right, so we'll do the stats. We've had to do the front of the van because Kev's had a whinge that we didn't do the front <laughs> it because isn't. it's a good looking, good looking thing. Well, all the A classes are. So we've got the boost at Abbey now, 670, full berth, full belted seat, six speed, three and a half thousand kilograms. So you don't need a C1 license. Um, this one's done 54,000 miles, good service history. We've actually got solar on it, cycle rack, reversing camera, awning, awning light, TV aerial, fly screens, blinds. I did say about the water 120, um, wastewater 90 litres. Um, yes, we've cassette toilet, fixed bed, wardrobe. So there goes your bursting. Really, really easy. But it's one of the, that is the easiest van we've set up. It is, yeah. Easy. I think you're fine with it with the A class as well. Another thing, like you just mentioned, the 3,500 kilogram because you haven't got a truck cab so you've, you've lost weight because you haven't got a metal cab area because they're all custom built okay. so that does, that does keep the weight down okay yeah. um price wise whoa. 40 to 45 aren't they yeah, at the moment yeah. um a classes really do hold the value well um, because they're just a fantastic van it's a all-in-one motor home isn't it really oh, yeah you've got such a nice big lounge area and they don't date you know this is the thing so if you've enjoyed the video, um, I haven't been able to show you how to set everything up because it was that easy. Um, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe to us. And Kev, shall we go in and... Um, put the kettle on. Put the kettle on, have yeah, something yeah. to eat. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll go back to yeah. everyone later. Right. Eh? Yeah, Come yeah. On, we'll, we'll get that kettle on. I'll get the deck chairs out. We'll go sit outside. Okay. All right. You go put the kettle see on. See you later. All right, see you in a bit.